Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today what we're going to be covering is the Forge Fluid Cables, which are not really cables, they're more, uh, I think I call them tubes, uh, pipes, pardon me. So they're uh, Forge um, liquid pipes, and we'll be covering the major things, differences, from the cables, the electrical cables that we did a tutorial on, but it's basically the same system, just with some minor or major changes, I guess. So it's um, basically the same models have been used. Uh, we're using just a different asset for the uh, texture. And uh, other notable things is we're using the same rotations and stuff. The only difference is I've created an instance in the model itself. So if you don't know how to create an instance, you can click on the green plus icon in your model when you open it up and it will allow you to create a other model or basically a sub model of the same shape and stuff with the same texture layout and allow you to apply a different texture. So we can create another one just for an example. So we'll just call it uh, tube. Eventually I want to add item tubes to this particular workspace. So uh, basically what you would do is you type the namespace. This should be lowercase. I think it supports uppercase, but I'm not sure. And then you'd basically select your texture here and you would select the same layout. So that's basically what I've done with all the different uh, models uh, for the different shapes and stuff for the um cables that we had so basically i just created an instance of it in all the different ones just called it pipe and then i basically selected the texture that i created for the pipes all right now that we have that part done um there is i think that's about it for the other things we still use forge flow for this particular system we will cover how i've linked that up because it does have some minor changes to that particular system uh, we will need to use the format that I created before. Um, if I open up uh, one of the, th the document, I have updated the document to explain more about the cables or the pipes. So let me just do that. Okay, so as you can see here, we have an entire section from 19 to 29 with um, all the Forge Fluid System uh, data. So if we scroll down to... Forge Fluid, uh, we can basically have pretty much the exact same thing. The only difference uh, that we're having is we need to enable fluid storage rather than electrical storage. And uh, we need, um, I think that's about it for that. We do need uh, Forge Flow for this system. So we need that variable to be linked up. And then there are a few other basic mechanics going on here, update procedure, all these other things are basically needed. We have the same shapes, so everything is the same for the shapes that we're using. And uh, this is where it gets a little bit more different. Uh, we have the um, tags, so the block tag. Uh, what we're going to be doing rather than using cables is we're going to use pipes for the name. So basically it would be your namespace pipes not cables and then the size so same system as before just a little bit different and if you want a material type then you can put the material like before as well here's an example on the sides here for what your tags would look like uh, down below we have mbt uh, this is a little bit more different um, in in the case of uh, you would basically want to do the same thing but again with pipes so p i p e s and then the size and if you're using a material, then you would want the material type. So um, if you want a specific material, other than that, you just can leave it as something similar to something like pipes, uh, size, and then the direction. So that would be your MBT selection for the linking up the pipes and stuff to devices and other things. If you want to use a material, then you would go the, the uh, pipes, size, and then the material and then north so that would basically allow it to be mostly cross mod compatibility and then looking down a little bit further we have the modular or forge fluid modular sizes so basically these have kind of mashed in together to make a similar system to what the forge energy has um different sizes range from a to g though you can 
make your own if you really wanted to. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. Um, though the, the conversion for this is a little bit different than energy, where energy is one per one. Um, buckets actually are measured. Uh, one value is one millibucket, which is like 1,000 buckets or 1,000 millibuckets equals one bucket. So for example, one bucket is 1,000 millibuckets, right? So keep that in mind when you're actually sending the, the fluid because if you want something like a bucket to be filled, then you're going to need something like 1,000 uh, millibuckets. So these are all measured in millibuckets. So uh, these would be the values that you would have. I've just kind of basically uh, multiplied the number by four or so. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit different. I tried to keep it as... Um, grid based system as possible but um, I, I did recognize that there was going to be a demand for a little bit of a smaller number you can probably use like 500 or whatever you want but uh, this is basically what the system I came up with for that and then we have different materials you might want to use different materials for that um, devices, pumps, uh, these are basically generators so natural gas, oil, steam lava, water, things like that would be your liquid versions. You would need the liquids for all those. So make sure that you actually have a liquid system set up. So you have things supported for all that. So the oils, etc. And then energy machines, you might have like a bucket filler or natural gas generator, oil fabricator, oil refinery, um, reactor cooling system, things like that would probably use um, fluid for sure. So you yeah, might have some of those things. You might also have um, water turbines, which might require water to generate energy, things like that. So um, you can pretty much Google anything or come up with your own ideas and stuff and create your own devices based on that. So, all right. So now that, that all the technical stuff is out of the way, what are the differences with the M creator looking into the system? So let's take a look at that right now. So again, the tag, I've uh, basically used fluid blocks uh, for all the different types of blocks here. It's under the forge name space. And then I've basically added all this into here. I can't remember what I'm using this particularly for, but um, it might be required for that particular part. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out later on. So we have um, pipes and pumps. So we'll be taking a, a look at the pipes today. Uh, we have our tags for the pipes, which is our pipes and then our size. And then I've basically set copper. You can set whatever material you want. So we've basically listed all the different blocks under this particular one. And if we go back, we can go and see our different blocks. So everything is named in the same process as our original ones. So for the cables, it's just called pipe N, etc. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Just make sure that they're separated by the particular uh, shape um, letter, which is like no for N, etc. It's all listed in the document. We may need to make sure that the rotation is set up. And when you're selecting the particular cable, you'll have, when you're creating the instance, you'll have two versions named the same thing. And one of them, if you look at the small subtax below, it says, uh, mapping and then it says the mapping type so default for this one is called um this would be the electrical cable and then below would be the pipe one that we created which is the instance so it says pipe right on there it will say it's say the name in lowercase um in the small text just below the large text there so you would want to make sure that you set up the pipe so it's correctly set up for the right texture and stuff like that after that, make sure water logging and uh, has fluid texture and set the cutout as well as the direction and you should be set up for pipes. Pipes might need water uh, log logging so they can go into water, though having it in lava might not really have any effect because lava isn't um, doesn't use the same system. Uh, Hitboxes, you can just click generate from model and that will set up the pipe um, scale and everything like that for the sizes automatically. Uh, you want to name your pipes something that is easy to recognize. So I just called mine pipes. You could go copper pipes or whatever you want. 
uh, material I've set to iron and I put it under the creative tab for redstone blocks. Uh, you can set pretty much any of the other values here as what you want. It doesn't matter too much. Make sure the tick rate is set to one. If you need to delay, um, want to slow down your energy being sent, then you can delay this by like a few extra ticks, maybe up to 20. That would be sending it uh, one every or a certain value each uh, second. But uh, generally with forge energy, what you want to do is you want to send it every one tick, uh, though nothing's stopping you from actually sending it at a slower um tick time so it might actually help with performance if you delayed it as well but i'll leave that up to you however you want by default it's best to have it at one but you know whatever you whatever works for your mod and your needs for your mod itself i guess uh other properties i've just set the color map and everything else is set to default going on block entity uh then what we're going to need to do is enable tile entity and make sure that we have the uh, inventory set to zero and disable the other blocks it doesn't have an inventory so we don't need it uh, when you're setting the fluid storage you will need to make sure that you set up the fluid storage itself so make sure to check this box this is dependent on the tile entity so make sure that both of these are enabled and then set your value based on that chart that we uh, showed earlier for the uh, millibuckets and all that stuff so this is going to be set to one bucket per tick so it's going to send exactly one bucket worth of water every time that it generates from or comes from the pump so it's going to send one bucket at a time uh, then make sure to set your material this is actually required because currently m creator doesn't support multiple tanks and it doesn't really have any support for testing for certain material like certain liquids or anything like that so we're restricted to a specific uh, liquid per thing you could separate your pipes and make different versions for different versions and then test if it has the fluid and stuff like that that's a lot more complicated and it's more complicated to create a simple system like that so when you're creating your pipes you might want something like water pipe a lava pipe things like that so it's easier to uh, determine what the material is and what it's going to be used for. So just remember that you need to set the, the particular thing. There are some different versions. I've just gone with water itself uh, just because it's a little bit easier to read rather than flowing water and it might be more cross mod compatibility. There's lava and your other liquids will show up in here too. So any other custom liquids will show up in this list. Uh, keep that in mind that you will have to link this up with the procedures so we'll cover that in just a second and same thing we have the update tick this is basically running our main update tick procedure which we're running the pipe fluid main script and the model update script for the pipes themselves and let's go check those two things out right now so we have procedures and this is our main update tick procedure so again that one's the one i just showed it needs to be run on server side and then what we need is the fluid main script so this is basically the script that's going to be transferring all the inner or the fluid uh there are some things down here that you need to configure i left them open in the procedure themselves so it's easier to find and everything else minimized uh so it's easier to find everything else so all this stuff is pretty much un not too much different uh there's some minor differences for example uh the for the flow system forge flow uh that i created for pipe or cables is now for uh fluid as well but it it needs its own mbt variable so it doesn't uh link up with a cable system for the forge flow so in this case what i've called it is forge fluid flow which is basically for the fluid system and what this will do is it will allow it to push fluid uh the direction away from the pump or generator that it's coming from and it'll do that every time the forge flow main procedure is set up we have already covered the forge flow system so go back and watch the video if you haven't watched it and um, basically that's all taken in consideration so uh, other com 
differences is the capacity of the tank. So we're just testing for tank one because again, we can't really use multiple tanks. Um, M Crater doesn't really support that. So when you're just testing for tank one and everything else is calculated based on the direction and stuff, similar to the original script. Um, the only difference that you'll need is to make sure that tank one is selected. This is already automatically done throughout the script and your cable directions for your MBT tags for linking up the blocks and your devices are set up here. So basically pipe size, material, and then direction. These are all the directions. If you want it to lose fluid over time, like a leaky pipe or something like that, you can basically use this particular um, value. You can set this to any value above zero in order to enable it. So it's similar to energy loss, but it's uh, for fluid. So it will allow you to balance out the material if you wanted to do it that way. Um, I haven't experimented too much with it, but um, it should work. And down below, this is where you're gonna need to tweak some of the settings. So for example, when you're select selecting your block material um, for the fluid that it's basically can use, what you wanna do is make sure that it these are set up to the same thing. So we need to set water in this case for that particular uh, cable or pipe, pardon me. And then we have the water for these other blocks as well. So we need to make sure all these blocks are set to water um, all the way down to this part. So once that is done, your script is ready to basically transfer fluid. You just need to make sure that it's all set up for the block model updater. So again, we have the main model updater script. Nothing has really changed outside of the notes that have added to them. So basically it just says pipes rather than uh, cables for this one. Everything else is the same for updating the models and pretty much the models are all the same outside of the IMBT variables and the tag for the pipes. So this is the only difference as well as the selector. So it's basically the exact same system, just um, a little bit different for the actual um, names for the variables and the block selector. So that's pretty much it. There's not much more that you need to know about the cables if you follow the, or the pipes, if you follow the cable tutorial and apply it to the same system for the fluid, for the, the pipes themselves, it will set up perfectly fine and it will connect. Uh, we can just go in game quickly and I can show you what it does. So basically what we have um, <laughs> probably generated in the worst possible biome is uh, for fluid, but did find a tree with some water around it. So what we can go to is our main block or the redstone and then we can grab our pipes and we'll just grab a simple pump to show that it works. And there is a quarry. I did set up a tutorial for that. Um, we will be covering that a little bit later on, but um, basically these are the blocks that we'll be covering. Uh, I just need to show that it works for the f fluid uh, transferring. So first thing that you want to do is test to see if all the parts connect. So you can just do a simple three by three grid and it should show all the different rotations and stuff like that for the model. So as you can see, everything works perfectly fine. And we just need to test to see uh, what the values are for these cables and that everything is hooked up. So by that, what we can do is we can use the data command. So slash data and we'll get block and then we'll get the block uh, position and we'll test to see what it is. So as you can see the um, empty, the when you place down a cable, what it's going to do is it's going to get the fluid tank. These are all our variables for the direction and all that set up automatically. And fluid flow or forge flow is set to zero zero at the moment because it's not hooked up to a generator of some sort and we're making sure that the fluid is set up but we don't have any fluid in the pipe at the moment so it's going to basically display as minecraft empty and the amount is going to be zero uh, when it's empty as well so those are the major major systems it is um an e direction because it's an end so if we go ahead and i'm just going to build up a little bit like this and place our pump down this, we'll cover the pump in the next tutorial because that's probably the next thing that you need. 
just hook this up. Uh, we're going to need some electricity for that as well. So I'm just going to grab that and this, and we'll just hook up simple pipe going over to here with a generator on it. And we'll put a solar panel, just make sure it's above the sunlight. And what we should see is fluid starting to go into this enter this uh, cable system. So what we can do is we can do the data command. Again, we'll do this one over here just because it's at the end here. Block, and we should see that there is a thousand water in this particular pipe now. Um, the fluid tank, fluid, and we can see that the forge fluid flow is has been adapted to the um, to have a value higher than zero. So as you can see, it's uh, 1,021. I think we started at 1,028, if I remember correctly, or four or something like that. I can't remember the exact number. Uh, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, so 24, 1,024 we started at. And it just basically counted down. So that it, it's in working order, as you can see here. So hopefully that helps uh, with that part. Uh, next week, what we're gonna be covering is the pumps and I'll be explaining how I've set the pumps up and we'll cover the script and all that. But uh, the technical details for the pipes are the first step of making sure everything works. So hopefully this has helped. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.